Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Aussie Gamer, and it's wet and shitty outside today, so no better time to bring you my review for Red Dead Redemption. Let's waste no time and just jump straight into it. The story in Red Dead Redemption follows the protagonist, a man known as John Marsden. John has a past. You know, one of those things that people have, except John is trying to forget his past and focus on his future. But in order to do that, he must track down and eliminate old friends turned enemies that he used to ride with in a band of outlaws. Only then will the government absolve him of his crimes and let him see his wife and son again to live happily ever after. It's a simple concept, but I believe the story in Red Dead Redemption is told very well with the use of some excellent voice acting and magnificent cutscenes. It really grips you from start to finish and it really pulls you into a different world. Players will likely grow fond of a variety of different characters throughout the game on an emotional level, including John Marston himself. It is truly one of those games that you just have to keep playing in order to see what happens next. Someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor John. Now, probably the most obvious thing about Red Dead Redemption is that the visuals are spectacular. Everything, ranging from the teeming landscapes to the small towns and settlements, look absolutely breathtaking. Animation is also done very well, which is especially noticeable in a firefight when enemies' limbs flail around when they cop a bullet to the shoulder, or when they fly off their horses after being shot dead. It all looks so realistic. Almost every single texture in this game is given so much detail, an example would have to be the horses. The horses in Red Dead Redemption are easily the best looking horses I've ever seen in a video game. Every one of their movements is so realistic and you can even see their muscles working when they walk or run. Come on, that's impressive. There are a few instances where the frame rate drops down a few notches, but these instances are so few and far between that I barely even noticed. In fact, throughout my entire Red Dead Redemption experience, I only noticed the frame rate slow on one occasion. Other than that, it was flawless. Complementing the superb visuals is an amazing score to go with it. The Red Dead Redemption soundtrack is awesome, giving a definitive atmosphere to the game. The voice acting is flawless, with hundreds and hundreds of different voice actors being utilised throughout Red Dead Redemption. Simply put, both the visuals and soundtrack behind Red Dead Redemption do an excellent job at transporting the player to a different world. Everything looks and sounds so authentic and magnificent, it really has to be seen to be believed. The best way to summarise the gameplay in Red Dead Redemption is that you can do what you want, when you want to do it. Don't necessarily want to do any of the story missions today? Great! Go hunting for the native fauna, which includes deers, foxes, boars, bears, cougar, just to name a few. Then, return to town and sell your products to earn money. Go gamble in a wide variety of fun ways including liar's dice, poker and blackjack. Meet people around the countryside and do them favours in a variety of stranger missions. Go and clean out a gang hideout. You can even get pissed at a bar and cause some trouble. My point here is that there is so much to do in Red Dead Redemption, players can spend hours upon hours playing the game and not undertake in a single story mission. The story missions themselves are always fun, exciting and never dull, boring and repetitive. You are always doing something different, which prevents the game from falling into a trap that other open world games tend to do, which is to bore the player with repetitive missions and dull gameplay. Dueling is also fun and gives you the choice to legally pump a poor unfortunate challenger full of lead. That worked. Furthermore, Dead Eye is a really cool feature of Red Dead Redemption that allows you to slow down time and pick a number of targets. When you fire your weapon, you will automatically take out every target that you selected in one swift gunslinging massacre. This is awesome to watch and particularly effective at clearing an area that has quite a few enemies to turn the tables in your favour. There is one issue that I have with the game however, and that is the amount of riding that is required to get from A to B. At first, it's great, you get to absorb the countryside, you know, take in your surroundings and truly enjoy the amazing visuals. However, it soon becomes riding, after riding, after riding, after fucking riding. 
When some objectives can take up to five minutes to get to, it can get quite boring when having to ride over and over again. It's not game breaking, but it does become a little stale after a while. Here's a hot tip, you can actually warp between locations. All you need to do is set up a basic campsite out in the bush, select the location you want, and bam, done. You can even mark a waypoint on your map and travel there instantly rather than having to traverse from let's say Mexico to Blackwater. Who wants to do that? Overall, after only a few hours of playing Red Dead Redemption, you will become immersed in the world of New Austin and never want to leave. This game is a time whore. It demands all of your time and is so much fun, you'll never want to stop playing. But is that necessarily a bad thing? No, of course not. And now for the online multiplayer. Yep, uh, non-existent for me unfortunately. I tried for over an hour to find a game to connect to, but nothing. Which is a shame because I was really looking forward to it having heard such great things about it. But honestly, even without the multiplayer, Red Dead Redemption is an unforgettable experience well worthy of its $90 price tag. You will literally get hours and hours, if not days or even months and months out of this amazing title. This game receives a 9.6 out of 10 and is arguably the best open world game I have ever played. Well done, Rockstar.